look okay? How's my highlight? Hi guys. Oh. Hi. Ugh. Hi guys, it's Katie here. Uh, this is my first time filming in real life, I guess. It's, it's very strange to be talking to a dot on my phone, uh, but here we are. And I just wanna kinda show you, it's hard really not to like look at myself, it's like so strange. Um, concentrating on the dot here. Um, I'm gonna talk about Fashion Week. Uh, as you all know, I do Fashion Week almost every season, uh, try to do it uh, at least once a year. And it's just one of my favorite things that I do because I get to get out there and meet people and get inspired. And then I get to work with people who I would never even be able to access to have, you know, a class from anything like that. So it's just really great. So what I'm going to do is actually show you my kit and what I do. And wow, the sun is really coming out there. Um, so <laughs> and show you what I do to pack and prepare. So I'm going to go through my kit and down to the pins and how I organize and everything so you guys can see and be prepared if you guys ever do go to fashion week or even just set up really great for a wedding or any sort of um, off-site hair. Here's how I organize my pins in these awesome plastic containers that you can get from Home Depot, Amazon, Michaels, Joann's. I have a couple linked below actually in my Amazon account so you guys can check those out. Um, I really like this one though because it's got these little plastic dividers so you can customize the size of each little container. So uh, it works out perfectly. I have my little mini bobby pins here. My favorite tip for pin organization, as you can see, I take just a handful of pins and group them together in a rubber band. It's just so much easier when you travel a lot and this gets kind of shaken around and all of that. It keeps everything super neat. And then you even think if somebody knocks it over and it ends up on the ground, you're only picking up half the amount of pins and it's just so much easier to get it back to organized and pretty. So I'm gonna break everything down that's in here. I have hairpins in different colors, regular bobby pins all in different colors. And then I have these little Japanese bobby pins that I love. They're just super tiny and they're just easy to hide. So it's great for like those little straight hairs and stuff like that. You can just stick a little bobby pin in there to hide. Uh, my long French hairpins, these are great just in general. They hold a ton of hair. Here's some more regular hairpins, just in a different color. And my brushes, this is one of my favorites. This is the Philips Tease brush. And you can see from the side, it's definitely been used a lot, but there's two layers of bristles and they're natural bristles. And you can get a really nice uh, French tease um, into the hair. So it doesn't end up getting super tangly or super tight like teasing with a regular comb. So this is just a regular rat tail comb a regular comb and I love, this is a toothbrush, um, not a real toothbrush, but a fake toothbrush, but it's really great for taming edges or smoothing out um, just like a super smooth snatched ponytail, um, great for detail work. I always love a carbon comb to not melt in the hair. And this is my favorite. This is a bone resin comb. I just love it because it's great for any sort of styling. I use the pintail for a lot of detail work and whatever it's made out of, the bone resin, it just doesn't, it doesn't st get staticky and it's just really, I don't know. This has been with me through probably five seasons of Fashion Week. I just love it. Then this is another one of my favorites. It's just a regular old plastic comb that I got from, you know, Amazon or something like that. But um, it's got really nice wide teeth and there's just some really cool things you can do with this. So I'm going to maybe do a video in the future to show you what we can do with just this cool little comb. So here is my second pin box. You can see it's a little different. I um, got this one from Michaels in particular, but I'm gonna break down everything that's in here that's my favorites too. So I love these long French bobby pins. These 
our mat. I don't know if you can see, it's a little hard to see, but uh, they're really grippy. They're great for thicker hair. Um, I love these longer straight hairpins. These are awesome. I'll kind of move this over here so you can see. And then just the mini version of these too. These are really great for wig work and everything. Um, just really sticks in there. And then I love my crease-free clips. These are always, always, always walking away from me at Fashion Week, but these really help keep the hair nice and smooth. Then of course, we're gonna go over to the hook ties. These are my favorite for snatched ponies. It just makes a really tight, tight ponytail without having to disturb anything. And then you can see I actually have Ziploc bags here. It just helps keep these organized a little bit more uh, when I travel. I'm not gonna take these out, but just our regular elastics in a couple different colors. And then just a couple of really great clips. I always, always travel with extra bobby pins. I've gone through an entire case of bobby pins before at just one show at Fashion Week. So always great to have some extras with you just in a little Ziploc baggie. And then I love these sectioning clips. Um, I'm trying to see there's a little reflection there, but these are so great for setting. Um, if you end up losing a bunch of these, you don't feel bad. And you know, if you run out of clips uh, for anything else, these are just always a really great go-to. They hold the hair smooth and they're just my favorite. I also love these little plastic cases. You can see they have a little zipper on the side. These are really great to organize your kit. They come in all shapes and sizes. I have these linked below. Um, definitely a must if you travel a lot. So I always travel with a couple different pairs of shears. Um, these are actually just regular old scissors. These are fabric scissors. And then my actual cutting shears over here. So what I usually do is I always have like a separate little thing and I'll put these into my checked luggage instead of carrying these on. Though I know uh, the pivot points if they're a certain uh, length, they'll take them uh, with a carry-on, which is really cool. But then, this brings me to my elastics. I love traveling with these types of elastics. This one's a little bit thicker and wider. You never really know when you're going to need these. These are really great for ponytails, too, if you run out of hook ties. Um, definitely a two-person job, though, when you are, you know, tying these around a ponytail. But this type of elastic, too, like, I've actually been to shows where we've used a stapler, and we've actually made headbands out of these. So this is just a really fun thing to have in your kit, um, fashion week or not, just to create a new look. A surge protector is always a must for my kit. This one's brand new. I just got it from Amazon and you can see how the plugs are sideways here. This is really cool because all of those wide plugs that everybody were always fighting over, um, you usually can only get like two or three plugs into a regular surge protector because of that. So this is really cool and plus it just takes up a little less space because it's uh, square. And then you don't have to fight too with your phone charger because there's three USB ports. So it's a really great thing to have backstage and especially if you need to share. I always like to have a variety of brushes in my kit. Uh, I always have a detangling brush, a paddle brush, a vent brush, a couple of great round brushes. This one is, I believe from Arn Cove. Yep, this is one of my favorites and a YS Park. This one has the double bristle, so you can really get in there and smooth. Um, then last but not least, my favorite. This is the Mason Pearson Jr. It has been through the ringer. Um, I've had this one for almost, I think 16 years now. I, it came in my beauty school kit and I've been using it at Fashion Week ever since. It's so great for smoothing hair. Um, I like the Junior because it's a little more versatile. You can really get into the detail and the edges, but then you can also use it for overall smoothing. Everyone needs just a tiny little flat iron. Love this one. You can see, I just put my hand up there so you can see how little it is, but this one gets really hot and it's just great for all that little detail work that regular flat irons won't get into. For curling irons, I always bring Marcel's. I'm just so much faster with a Marcel iron for some reason. So I really like these Hot Tools irons. I've been using them forever, so I just bring them in a variety of sizes. I have a lot more than this, but I'm just gonna show you these guys. And then I always bring my flat iron. This is the GHD Platinum Plus. 
my new favorite. It just like makes the hair so smooth and soft and doesn't, you know, get too hot or anything like that. And then I always just bring a nice, powerful blow dryer, um, whatever brand you prefer. This one is a babyless, uh, one of my favorites. It just is super fast and it doesn't get too hot either. I always have a handful of black towels on hand and a cape too. Um, especially if there's hairspray flying, you don't want the model getting hairspray all over her. And then I'll show you at the end of the video actually how I set up with the black towels and make it look all neat. After packing my kit, I realized I forgot a lot of my uh, essentials. So when I was in New York, I picked up a couple of these new things and I have a new favorite. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, this is the Print Brush by Sambi. I cannot get enough of this. Uh, you can see from the side, it's natural bristles with different levels, so it's great for smoothing. And then you can see at the top here, there is a little detail brush, and then it's got a little point at the top too. It's very ergonomic, fits in your hand really, really well. It's super light too. This I found this season, it was my go-to. I stuck it in my pocket when I was going to do first looks. Um, this really just, I mean, it does it all. It really does, so get this if you can. I'm gonna try to link this below. And then of course the great diffuser, this is the YS Park, more of a sock diffuser. I like it because it just folds up really tight into your kit and it pops right onto the end of your blow dryer. This also is my new favorite thing. Remember those slap bracelets that we used to have as kids? Um, this is a magnet right here. You could throw your bobby pins on there and it's just really great to have on your wrist, um, especially if you're like milling around and you're not near your station, which happens a lot. So let me show you. There you go. It folds up into a bracelet, which is really great. So then I realized I forgot my essential. This is a spray bottle. It's a continuous mist spray bottle. And then I just really like this one because it has a smaller uh, reservoir. So it doesn't take as much uh, room in your, in your kit. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and that's my kit. Uh, so you could take that with you to a wedding, to fashion week, anything like that. It just helps keep you really organized and you literally will have every single thing no matter what happens. Um, and please comment down below if you wanna see anything from me in the future and hopefully it'll be less awkward next time. So thanks for watching, bye.